Hey there guys, Opti here, and in today's tutorial I will properly show you how to scan for fizz gun because I am getting a lot of people on my other video that they can't access it and all this other stuff that all they get is the shiny parts, stuff like that. So I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you. We're going to trick this system today. So what we're first going to want to do is download GCF Scape and VTF Edit and GIMP2 for you users that do not have uh, a valid program. Now what we're going to do after that is if you are logged into Steam, just right click Steam and exit it. If it's right here on your little desktop, if not, just go to start Steam, go offline, stuff like that. Now we're going to go to GCF Scape. So whenever GCF Scape opens, just go to File, Open, and we're going to locate the file that we want to open. And I'll do this from the desktop or however you'd like. So from desktop, we're going to go to My Computer. We're going to go to Local Disk C. We're going to locate Program so then we're going to go to Steam when we're in Program Files. In Steam, we're going to find Steam Apps. And in Steam Apps, you're going to see your username, source mods, and a bunch of big purple squares. We're going to look at the purple square that says Source Materials. Then in that, we're going to see HL2 and Relists, or Rest Lists. We're going to click HL2, Materials. Scroll down until we find Models. And then in Models, we're going to scroll all the way down until we find Weapons. We go to V, Fizz Cannon, and in V, Fizz Cannon, we're going to see all these things. Just take V Super Fizz Cannon Sheet and place it on your desktop. We're going to exit out of that. So we're going to go to Start. And we're going to open VTF Edit. Now in VTF Edit, make sure it's maximized. We're going to go to File, Open, and then locate your desktop and open that file that we just had. So it'll look like this in VTF Edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot of this. Now, how to take a screenshot? You click Print Screen. Uh, it also says SysRQ on it. So we're going to click Print Screen. And we're going to minimize this. Then we're going to go open the GIMP that we just downloaded. All right, guys. Once in GIMP, we're going to go to Edit, Paste. Now you'll see this big thing. We're going to find where it says PX and 66.7. And we're going to click this little drop down and click 200. Now scroll to the top left corner of this, and we're going to go to the Rectangle Selects tool. And on this, we have to make this towards perfectly aligns with the upper left corner and the bottom right corner. So make sure it is properly aligned, or else your biz gun will come out really, really fucked up. That I cannot stress that enough. Okay, so we're going to copy this, and we're going to go to File, New. Width, 512, and height, 512. Make sure it's by pixels. We're going to click OK. And in, on this sheet, we're going to go to Edit, Paste Into. All right. And uh, yeah, let me just make a little something right here. I'm just going to mess around with this. All right. So this is what my fizz gun is going to look like with a bunch of big black stupid lines on it. Save as. V underscore super fizz cannon underscore sheet. Save it to our desktop and we're going to go to select file type by extension and we're going to save it as a TGA file. So it'll say targa image. And we're going to click save and then we're going to hit export and save we're just gonna exit out of the gimp all right and then open your v super fizz cannon we're going to go to file imports open vtf edit i'm sorry and we're going to find v super fizz cannon sheet tga make sure clamp 512 by 512 is selected and there it is. So we're going to click File, Save As. The V underscore Superfizz Cannon underscore Sheet dot VTF. Hit Save. It'll ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to click Yes. I'm going to close VTF. At. And there we go. And what I'm going to need to do is put this into a folder so that way Gary's Mod can recognize it and show you the V Fizz Cannon and your skin. So what I'm going to do is locate that folder. So we're going to go to Start my computer now in program my computer we're going to find local disk c or osc program files scroll all the way down until you find steam 
and in Steam we're going to find Steam Apps, your username, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, locate a file called Materials. Now in Materials there should be a folder called Models. If there is not a folder called Models, you will create that folder. And inside of Models, you should find a folder that says Weapons. If there is not a folder inside of Models that says Weapons, create that folder. And inside Weapons, you're going to need to create the folder V underscore Fizz Cannon. Now I'm going to take my V underscore Fizz Cannon VTF file and drag it into that folder. I'm going to click Yes. I'll exit that and there you guys go if you open Gary's mod you will find that your skin has been created onto that and I hope that helped you guys very much I hope I did not get any more comments that say thank you guys for watching comment rate and subscribe peace